the jury is present in the county court, Your Honor. Okay, thank you, everyone. Have a seat. And you may call your first witness. Who will that be? Uh, Mario Padilla, I think is the way you say it. Or, uh, would you Mario. say the last name? Uh, Padilla, I think is how you say it. <laughs> If you would help the marshal identify the person, since it sounds like perhaps the last name is a little uncertain in its pronunciation. You may inquire. So I think what you're supposed to do is you say your name and spell it. Mario Perea, M-A-R-I-O-P-E-R-E-A. Okay. Um, uh, we're going to go back to December 8th, 2020. Um, do you remember that night? Yes. Um, do you remember any specific conversations that we had about that night? And your honor, I'd object as to hearsay and additionally relevance. And did you wish to respond? Um, I believe that it's relevant because it goes to show my, my intent, my state of mind at the time. Okay. And so what about the hearsay objection? Well, it would be his conversation, so that's not hearsay, right? Be what? You can, uh, again, hearsay is an out-of-court statement uh, offered to uh, prove the truth of the matter asserted, and so uh, if you're not on the stand, then what you said uh, isn't going to come in necessarily. So why don't you go ahead and okay. ask your witness what he knows, but not what you said. You can testify yourself about that if you wish. Okay. Um, so the night of uh, the event, um, do you remember anything specific as far as the organization of the events when I'm involved? Yes, I do. Uh, there was multiple gatherings that were happening uh, around the town. Uh, do you recall out of the gatherings, um, the size of each one of the gatherings? Well, and Your well, Honor, I'm, I'm going to uh, re-up my um, objection as to relevance. I don't see how this is relevant. Okay. And how is it relevant? Well, I don't know if, if, if I can say it or whatnot, because then I'm kind of coaching the witness, ain't I? Well, okay. I guess I'll just say it. And then uh, and Your Honor, my preference okay. would be to approach the bench. So, okay. We can do that. Go ahead and come on up. Uh, sustain the objection partially uh, uh, sustain the objection and uh, denied it and so I'll go ahead and allow you to ask some questions about this witness's personal knowledge go ahead okay to your personal knowledge um, you've already said there's multiple events that night um, do you recall what event, what event I attended? Yeah, you were in front of uh, Diana Lachiando's house, and there was three people there. Um, were the other events the same night, the, approximately the same size? Would you say this was the largest event, smallest event? Uh, smallest. Um, is there a reason that you decided for me to go to the smallest one? Your Honor, I'm, I'm going to object as a relevance in that regard. And as to relevance of why this person selected the smallest event, did you wish to uh, answer the objection? Well, that would be his personal knowledge, wouldn't it? And as to relevance. Okay, I'm going to sustain the objection. Go ahead and move on. Okay. Um, um, let's... Let's back up here a little bit. Um, let's do a little background. Um, how long have you lived in Idaho? About uh, four years. Okay. Um, have you known me? How long have you known me? Um, two years. 
Um, have you ever? Your Honor, known I think that this is trying to elicit impermissible character evidence, so I would object in that regard. I can't. You can't testify to my character. Okay. Why don't you guys come on up? Um, out of the time you've known me, um, have you ever known me to be a liar? No. Um, so you'd say in general I'm truthful? Yes. Okay, I think that's all I can ask. So, thank you, I appreciate it. No problem. You may cross-examine the witness. Your Honor, the state has nothing for this witness. Okay, may the witness be excused, Mr. Jones? Yes. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay.